Welcome back. Okay, so the big business of CBD, Ashley Webster, is live in Smith Falls, Canada this morning with a look at Canopy Growth, one of the world's largest marijuana companies. Ashley, good morning to you. Look at that getup hey, you morning, have on. Maria. In fact, Canopy... Do you like this? This is a protective suit. Why? Because I'm inside one of the 47 grow rooms. I'm surrounded by marijuana plants. But if I bring in some sort of contaminant, then I could wipe out this crop and I'd be in a lot of trouble and I'd have a big bill to pay. So I'm all suited up. Uh, Canada only legalized recreational marijuana about nine months ago. And as you can see, business is booming, literally growing. Um, but it's not just marijuana that you smoke. There's also what they called cannabinoid. That's CBD. The health benefits as a health supplement is a big business, $5 billion this year alone. But there are still questions, Maria, as to whether CBD is safe. You can get it in drinks, you can get it in all types of foods. But we spoke to a doctor who said, you know what, he has his doubts right now. Take a listen. Think about all these sources of CBD coming into your body. Is that safe? I, as a doctor, don't have an answer, but I err on the side of caution and say that is not ideal. We need some sort of regulation here. Well, you know, the FDA also says it has its doubts and is not okay the ingestion of CBD. We can go anywhere in America and find CBD products. Uh, we spoke to the CEO of Canopy. His name is Mark Sakulin, and he says he welcomes regulation. Take a listen to him. I mean, there, there are people selling tons of CBD products all over America right now, all over the world right now. So, you know, they have a real incentive to put a system in place to make sure that what you're buying is properly labeled, has been tested, produced to a certain standard. So there you have it, Maria. They're making a huge bet, Canopy. It is the world's largest legal marijuana grower. Uh, they believe the United States is in their uh, outlook, in their, their forecast. They already have seven big facilities, including one in upstate New York, where they're growing hemp. But in the meantime, as you can see, this is what they believe will be the face of the United States to come. The question is, can the federal authorities in Washington agree with some of those states like California and Colorado and legalize marijuana and CBD, for that matter, across the board? We'll have to wait and see. We're going to be here all day. We're going to show you some remarkable sites. In fact, across the street, there is a billion dollars worth of marijuana just piled up. And the irony is, it's right next door to the police station. What? Who would have thunk it? Wow. Thank you, Maria. And, and these companies... Have have gone public, investors are believing. I know Tilray, when it was an IPO, was one of the best IPOs we saw all year. Yes. Absolutely. And in fact, the, there has been a change here at uh, a Canopy. Bruce Linton was the original CEO. He's been on Fox Business a number of times. He kind of left suddenly. Mark Seculin, who we spoke to, is the new CEO. I asked him what's going on. He said, Bruce was the founder. He's kind of a blue sky thinker. He's moving on to his next job. Uh, but Canopy continues to grow. Uh, you can trade it on the New York Stock Exchange. It can be traded here in Canada under weed. Um, they believe this is the future and CBD in particular. All right. Good symbol there. Ashley, thank you. Ashley Webster in Canada this morning.